Hello everyone, new Blackwell's video, and today we will be finding the area inside of this equation's loop. So, this equation's loop, that means we're gonna have to graph it. So first, let's set this in terms of y and x, which is going to be y squared is equal to 4 cosine 2x. And let's graph this like that, and let's just ignore the y squared and just graph it normally. The period where the graph repeats is usually 2 pi, but there's a 2, so I divide it by 2, getting pi. So this is going to be pi over 2. This is pi over 2. And this is pi over 4. And this is 3. Wait, yeah, 3 pi over 4. And let this be 4, and then let this be negative 4. And graphing this, it looks like this. This is too fat. Okay. And now, we have this, but... To actually graph it, where we have the in terms of polar graph, right? We actually need the all the way from 2 pi. And this is going to be 3 pi over 2. This is going to be 5 pi over 4. And this is going to be 7 pi over 4. And repeating the pattern. We will get this. Right, and now let's get to the part where I really want to show you guys that it's y squared, but if we just want it just by y, y is equal to, I'm going to have to square root this equation. And inside value cannot be a negative, so the bottom part we just ignore and focus on the positive up side of the area. And also, the 4 is going to become a 2. And this part we can just ignore. And now let's draw the polar graph version of this, right? And we're going to have to cut this short, okay? Let's call this pi. It's going to be 2 pi, 3 pi over 2, 7 pi over 4, and 5 pi over 4. Right? Now let's draw the polar graph. Where the radius is a circle. And I will use this toilet paper to draw it perfectly. And now it's from the angle 0 to pi over 2. But at the angle 0, it's already at 2, and it goes to pi over 4. Oh, it's not 4. It's 2. It's 4. Okay, so from angle 0, it goes to pi over 4. That starts from 0. That approaches to 0. So 2 to 0. And we're not counting this part. We're counting this. And it is 3 pi over 4 to pi that starts from 0 that goes to 2. So it starts from 0 that goes to 2. Like this. And right here, it's 5, I mean pi, that goes to 5 pi over 4. So it starts from 2 that goes to 0. And now this area is starting from 7 pi over 4 that goes to 2 pi that starts from 0 that goes to 2. It's really confusing. Like this. So I will just find for the uh, So I will just find the area of both of them. And now to find the area of a polar curve is to use this method. Okay? If we have a triangle and this is this is r because that's the radius, and this is dy, 
I mean d theta, because it's a really, really small theta. And if we have the integral from certain angle to angle, we'll have infinitely many amount of them, eventually finding the area. And this is a length that is pi times theta. But to find the area of this triangle, that is r squared, times theta of d theta. So let's do this. And now we have the, oh yeah, and divided by 2 because it's a triangle. And we have the interval from pi over 4 to negative pi over 4. And we will multiply the 2 at the end. And the 1 over 2 can come up front from pi over 4 to negative pi over 4. And this is the r squared, the theta. Oh, oops. There shouldn't be a theta because this is supposed to be a theta, right? And L is R times theta because they are proportional to each other. And I just differentiated theta so I get D theta because the interval has to be in terms of theta. Yeah. So we get pi over 4 to negative pi over 4. And now let's solve this. But before we do that, we need to find the value of R, which is just right here. So... Let's solve this in another space. So substituting this into here, we get 2 times the integral of the interval from pi over 4 to negative pi over 4 of cosine 2 theta times d theta. And now the integral of that is sine 2 theta over 2. There's a times 2, so nothing goes there but we still have the interval from pi over 4 to negative pi over 4. And then, putting it there, we get sine pi over 2, sine pi over 2, that's 1, minus sine negative pi over 2 is negative 1, and that is equal to 2. But that's only one side of this, and now we just multiply 2, getting a 4. Let's put the answer right here. Okay. Here we have our answer, which is the area of 4 from this polar equation. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. So see you guys in the next video. Bye.